Hey grade 6 learners, welcome to another science lesson. For today's lesson, we're going to differentiate a solute from a solvent. This time, we're going to prepare a mixture. We have powdered milk, sugar, and hot water. Pour the powdered milk in the hot water. Then, the sugar. Mix the substances by stirring it well. Then, observe what happens in a minute. After a thorough stirring of the mixture, the solid substances the powdered milk and the sugar dissolve in the hot water. This is called a milk solution, wherein it classifies as a homogeneous mixture. Based on our activity, which is the solute in the mixture? A. Sugar and powdered milk or B. Hot water? Correct! The answer is A. Powdered milk and sugar. A solute dissolves or the substance that is being dissolved, it is of smallest amount. A solvent is a substance that does the dissolving or it is a substance used to dissolve a solute. It is of a larger amount. Water is called the universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other. There are solutes that can be dissolved in solvent. It is called soluble. However, there are also substances that cannot be dissolved in solvent. It is called insoluble. Let us have another mixture, an oral rehydration salts mixed in a 200 ml water. Pour the 4.1 grams of oral rehydration salt. Stir it well and observe what happens. In our activity, which do you think is the solute? And which do you think is the solvent? Correct! The solvent is the water while the solute is the oral rehydration salts. Therefore, solute plus solvent equals solution. There are factors that affect the formation of a solution. These are size of particles, steering of a mixture, and temperature. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.